What up, fam? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about five things that you can start doing right now so that when you launch your YouTube channel, you'll be ready, you'll have excellent content, and you'll be super confident. Step one, get to know your camera. Whether it's a phone camera, an action cam, or a mirrorless camera, get to know your camera. Learn your camera inside and out. That way you'll feel super confident when it comes time to actually use it when it's important. Step number two, learn your software. I recommend DaVinci Resolve because it's free. It's an industry standard. Once you get better and confident and feel like you need to buy the studio version, you can. This way you won't have to pay any high subscription fees while you're trying to learn and you won't have any out-of-pocket expense while you're learning your software. There are also a crap ton of tutorials on YouTube about DaVinci Resolve. Great beginner stuff, great advanced stuff. I think it's the best option for someone who's trying to learn and doesn't want any out of pocket yet because their channel isn't earning them any money. Number three, take your camera with you. Everywhere you go, when you can, get used to using it in public. When I first started, I felt very self-conscious about using my camera in public. I thought people would ask me questions, people would approach me and bother me about why am I here, and I was afraid I would just sound like a moron if I tried to talk about it. I used to think, oh my God, what if a photographer or somebody comes up and starts asking me smart people questions? What am I going to do? <laughs> it's perfectly normal to feel that way when you're learning anything, not just video and photography, anything. My advice, get out there, get used to being seen with it and start shooting video. Learn how it handles, how the video looks for your frame rates, and you'll be surprised how much better you'll get. Number four, talk to your camera for at least 30 seconds every day. Get used to seeing yourself on screen, how you sound, what you look like, what your best angles are, how to light your face, what you do and don't like. It's hard accepting that this is you, the actual you, and there's nothing you can do about it. This is your package. So work with it and get comfortable in front of the camera. Some people will feel like a natural. Some people will feel super cringy. My advice, just get started and start doing it. The more you do it, the easier it's going to be. The more natural you're going to feel and the more confident you'll be when you start speaking to people. Most YouTubers think their first videos are super cringy. I do. You will too. I say just get out there, get on with it, and welcome to the club. Number five, practice recording sequences. Practice recording three to five shot sequences and think about how things cut together. I learn something new every time I do this. I have a couple of sweet examples, one I call getting the rake. And the other one I call walking to the truck. Simple, stupid things. In the walking to the truck video, I learned a lot about composition, how to cut for the eyes. I walked out of the door and where I walked out of the door, that's where I also put the handle shot. I did notice though that I had some issues with pacing in that video. The first few shots were really quick. They were like kaploop, kaploop, kaploop. But then walking to the truck took forever. It was very slow. I walked all the way from the door all the way around the truck and back. And it seemed like through the pacing off for the entire thing. I did do a little skip to get through it. But it's just something that I'll have to keep thinking about next time when I get ready to do it again. Because pacing is important. If I just was like boop, 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 and then just was like doo, 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 doo. I mean, it, just, it would seem very weird. The other thing I learned <laughs> is that uh, when, when you shoot wide, be careful of what's going on in the edges of the frame. I noticed that when I went around the backside of the truck, since my body was on the edge of the frame, my ass looked enormous. Like I looked like I was the width of half of a truck. I mean, I'm pretty thick, but I'm not that wide. <laughs> so... It's something to think about. I looked massive on the edge of the lens where everything gets distorted. So I did learn that also. There's just so many things I learned every single time I start. With the rake video, I learned that when I cut from opening the handle to walking inside, it seemed like more of a jump cut because I didn't really change my angle at all. So changing your angle is a very good tip too because if you don't, it just starts to look like jump cuts, which when they're intentional, they have great purpose, but 
mine wasn't intentional and I knew it wasn't intentional. And I just thought, wow, that looks terrible. Just pick anything around your house. You can do it with just you and your tripod. You don't need these epic setups or anything or any help or any people or any friends. You can just go out there and do it. And it can be anything, literally anything. It can be opening a bottle, pulling out a chair and sitting down at the table. How would that look? How would you shoot that in three to five shot sequence? Where would you cut? What angles would you use? And when you start to think about all these sorts of things, eventually you're reprogramming your brain to think like a video creator. And this is super helpful to get in the habit of because when you get on location to whatever thing you're practicing for now, you'll be able to just jump right in. You won't waste time. You won't miss shots. You have a plan. You'll be ready to go and you'll have a great time. Bonus tips. I got deuce. Tip number one. Practice a skill when you learn it on YouTube. It's awesome to sit around and consume tons of content all day, and that's a great way to learn. I love YouTube for that. That's what makes it so awesome. But take some things that you actually want to learn and put them in your watch later folder, and then sit down when you get a moment and go along with whoever you're watching and follow the steps and actually try to do these things yourself. Muscle memory and learning hands-on are super important. It helps you remember a lot more than you would than if you just read it or watch someone else do it. It's important to actually practice these things for yourself. Bonus, bonus tip. This tip is super important in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of other people's opinion too, but be your own number one fan. I know it's easy to hate on yourself and be like, my content is here, I need it up here, I'm not there yet, I don't know what's going on, but no one's gonna be excited about you and your projects and the process of learning and creating awesome, amazing things than you are. Don't get disheartened if your YouTube channel doesn't take right off or if your friends and family don't really watch your videos or they just kind of be like, yeah, that's nice, cool, I'm glad you're doing that, whatever. It's all about you and your content, what you wanna create and how much it makes you excited. So get out there, do awesome things and practice your ass off. I can't wait to see you out there. Bye guys.